everyone and welcome back to my studio first of all guys I want to thank you so much for all your love and all your support I get from you during this week during these dark days you know that nowadays YouTube is trying to block all family friendly content on YouTube right now we're fighting really hard and I can tell you that your support, this is something that really keeps me going. And I can promise you guys, I will be probably the last YouTuber who is going to record the goodbye video. I'm going to fight for my channel here, for my art here on YouTube, really, till the last drop of my blood. And today, actually, we're going to do something very special. This project I had on my list here in the hidden part of my whiteboard already for almost two years. But this is quite a big project. It's, of course, very time-consuming. It's probably even more difficult than repainting a doll. And, you know, I just had no time. I never had a moment to start working on it because I had this extremely busy schedule making a new doll repaint every week and of course there were just no time for anything extra and all these projects I have actually four big projects that I really would love to work on but I never have time for it so right now actually this terrible situation this apocalypse of family friendly content on YouTube gave me a serious kick actually First, I was sitting here, of course, extremely sad for two or three days, really. These days were dark, guys, I can tell you honestly. But then I started drawing and I could actually completely escape this world with all its problems. Don't want to know about them, reality, I oh, never heard about. Really, drawing, making art is really the best way to escape all your problems, to forget about it. And right now I feel no stress whatsoever, I don't know, maybe it's still too early. And also as a result, I have actually finished the project I was dreaming about for almost two years. And the project I'm talking about now is creating my own paper doll, as you could see it of course already from the thumbnail and from the title of this video. And I don't know, maybe I am the only one person like this in the world, but I used to be such a huge paper doll fan as a kid, as a teenager. Really, I used to have such a huge box. It was some, I don't know, box from a ping pong set or something like this. It was a big plastic box that you could open like this as a chest. And I had all kinds of paper dolls, outfits, interiors. I used to create the whole rooms for them and really closets with doors that went open. Unfortunately, I have lost all my paper dolls from before. I have no idea where they are nowadays. They used to be at my grandparents' apartment, but now both of them have passed away already. And even really, it was the last meeting with my grandfather. I knew that it was probably my last meeting with him, I still asked him if he remembered this big black and white ping pong box with my paper dolls, but no, nobody have never seen them. So I always loved them, I always wanted to make my own paper doll, I really hope that there are more people who could relate <laughs> my passion. I don't know, write me please down in the comments. Are there more people that really loved paper dolls? Because my husband, for example, even though he absolutely loved my project, he never really thought about this concept before, he'd never heard about it in his life, but of course he's a boy, he's a man girls have their secrets also. So, and also about a month ago, right before these dramatic YouTube events, I've bought as a gift for myself for three years of ex my channel existing, for doing such a fantastic job for three years. I've never skipped a Friday video in my YouTube career. I've bought this amazing iPad Pro. It was expensive, it was of course something you buy once <laughs> in three years, once a year, maybe something like this. But I always wanted to do more digital art. Because of course working on those seven days per week, uh, already for three years, non-stop, it's all interesting, it's all fun. But I start to miss other kinds of art, really. 
I, for example, I'm not sure anymore if I can draw things other than doll faces so that's why i bought this ipad because i really want to develop my digital art more i think there are absolutely i don't know endless possibilities in digital art and the most important thing guys it's so much fun it gives you some absolutely childish feeling of happiness. My laptop now, it also has a touch screen, it has a stylus, I can draw on it, but it's not the same. I've tried also other devices for making digital art, for drawing. It's always fun, absolutely. But with this thing, I felt nine years old again. So much happiness, so much freedom, it's so easy, it's so... It just made for you, it just made to make you happy. Really unbelievable. So that was a very long intro. It's going to be a long video, I believe. So right now my project is finished. I'm very happy with the result, even more than I expected when I started it up. And right now I'm ready to share it with you. And for my project, I've decided to draw a Visco Grow. I know, if you're older than 18, probably, or if you don't have some cool teenager kids, you probably have no idea what Visco Girl is, but actually the concept uh, I've got from your comments under my videos. So thank you so much for keeping me relevant. The old lady can stay up to date. And now I'm ready to share my knowledge with other old ladies here on my channel. So, and right now let's take my iPad and I'm going to show you the time lapse of my work. So I start with sketching her face and her hair and what is actually fun about making a Visco girl because they have kind of must-have items. There are really lots of very cute checklists online and today we're going to follow some of these checklists. And here is actually already must-have number one from our checklist and this is a messy bun. So what does actually Visco girl mean? People use this word mostly for young girls who quite heavily added their picture in the Visco VSCO program. And they are also wearing some stereotypic items like oversized t-shirts, Birkenstocks, scrunchies, you know, there are lots of them. We will see quite a lot of them also today in this video. And this is a really popular thing nowadays in schools mostly. It's like a new teenager subculture in some way. They have their own language. And even though I'm not sure if it's really a compliment to call someone a Visco girl. But it's the same thing like in my youth, for example, many people were always kind of slightly kidding with Amos. So if you're a teenager or your kids are teenagers, you know for sure what it is. But if you're an adult, you might probably never really come across this popular concept. And it's just unbelievable how easy it is to create a realistic looking skin tone on the iPad. Really, just super easy. And also drawing hair in Procreate is also so much fun, you cannot imagine. And here is, by the way, the second must-have, a scrunchie in her hair. The next step is drawing and blushing the body.
and then I'm going to draw a swimsuit. You know, I don't want to really make her too naked. I don't want to draw a bikini. I will draw such a closed swimsuit, but I will make it kind of nude color like this. She will be able to wear some crop tops, stuff like this, something where she can show her belly. Okay, here is our doll. I think she's extremely cute. And now it's time to draw a couple of outfits for her and a bunch of accessories. And I start with the oversized t-shirt that you can wear as a dress because it's almost like a uniform for a real visco girl. And I really love creating the water marble effect in this program because it looks really good, I think. Then I also decided to add a seashell choker to the neck because this is another whisk girl must have. And of course our visco girl should have more scrunches, so I add a bunch of them to her arm. And to another arm I put a bunch of friendship bracelets. And guys, I used to be such a pro in making this yarn friendship bracelets when I was a teenager. Not normal, I really loved making them. Another unmissable visco item is a Kanken backpack. It's a quite an old brand, I remember them from my childhood and it never was really an expensive bag, so I was really surprised a couple of months ago, probably in August, you know, before school starts, when I've seen them being sold for 80 plus euro. Well, now I know why, because it's a really trendy object at schools. And another must-have here is a Starbucks drink and it better be something pink inside of it. And to complete this look, I will draw a pair of Birkenstock sandals and you know, it's another nostalgic brand. So here is our first look. It's super cute, I think. So now let's undress our girl and move to the second outfit. Now I want to make a pair of jeans shorts and a tube top for our girl. And you can see Visco girls wearing them all the time, if it's warm outside. And of course our girl needs more friendship bracelets. And to her other hand I want to give her a smartphone with a water marble cover. And on her feet she will wear a pair of legendary Vans sneakers. So, and now it's time for another Visco Girl must-have object and this is of course such a cute water flask because you know it's very important to stay hydrated. So this is her second look, it looks very cute I think, so now let's undress her again and move to this third outfit. 
And this time I want to draw an oversized hoodie. This is also another item from our checklist. And let's also add a very supportive text to the front of the hoodie. Another must-have of a real Visco girl is an instant camera, like for example Polaroid and especially the super cute Fuji Instax mini cameras. This video is not sponsored by Fuji, unfortunately, you know, because I also love these cameras. And I think I want to give her another pair of Vans sneakers and this time it's gonna be the legendary ones with the black and white squares. So this is the look number three, it's again super cute I think, so undressing and moving to the next outfit. And here I want to give her a very cute white jean skirt that would look just amazing on a sunny summer day on a beach and then I will also add some cute crop top. And this look I want to complete with a pair of yellow crocs, because you know crocs are also a must have from the list. And this is such a cute outfit. You can also wear for example other shoes from other sets together with this look. So now I just want to give some more diversity to be able to create more looks, to have more combinations. So that's why I want to draw her a pair of jeans. And you can see that I'm actually starting using the same shorts that I've made already earlier. It's much easier and this is also another plus point of digital art. And then I also make another crop top to the collection. I see now that I still have a little bit of space over on the page, so I will draw her also the iconic Nike shorts. So you see I've played a little bit with the layout, I've had also like the title, the branding of the doll and I think I still can make a wig for her. So let's give her very big, very messy hair, you know, some wild curls and of course a scrunchie.
So here I have printed out my doll using our regular home printer. Really, we have probably the cheapest and the, the most simple printer on the market. We use it just three times per year to print some airplanes, tickets. But I'm already so much happy with the result. It looks so pretty, it's crazy. Really, I have just one question to the universe. Was there a way, I don't know, some special hint program or something like this, was there, was there a way to show this doll to me when I was 10 and to tell me, look girl, you will be able to draw such a doll when you're 35. If it was possible, I would be able to draw it when I was 18, probably. Because I wouldn't have this constant doubt in my head. I wouldn't look in different places. I would go straight to the goal if somebody could show me this. Like, if you work hard, you will be able to do this. Okay, how hard should I work? Is this hard enough? Harder? Harder? Okay, I would be able to do anything, everything to be able to reach the result. But instead of this, I've spent, I don't know how many, 30 years on looking for something else. So, sorry, it was my old lady complaining part of the video, but I just know that there are people out there watching me now who just want to hear this. If you love doing something, if you have really a lot of passion towards something, keep doing it, really keep doing it and it's gonna go. So, but we are not done yet. Right now we're actually going to play with this doll. So now I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut all the details of our doll out of this paper. And everything works good. It seems I've made a cut here on her hand, like this she'll be able to hold the accessories. And here I also want to make a cut to be able to put the outfits on, like into this cut. So and now we can actually play with this doll, combine different parts of different outfits together, I don't know, make pictures for Instagram. And you can actually put your doll onto a magnet board or to a fridge doll or something like this and change her outfits every day. Here I've bought such a roll of magnet sticker. It costs something like 10 euro online or something like this, but here is magnet enough for hundreds of dolls. So I'm going now to attach 
tiny pieces of this magnet to the doll and to the outfits. So you see now she can stay like this and you can change her outfits, add different details every day, make Instagram pictures again, stuff like this, just use her as a decoration. So, and I'm going to stop here, I think, otherwise this video is going to last for two hours or something like this. And right now, guys, I'm extremely excited and I'm also extremely nervous to hear your feedback. What do you think about this project? What do you think about paper dolls? Have you played with paper dolls as a kid? Do you play maybe with paper dolls still now? Uh, what do you think about digital art? Have you enjoyed this video? Should we continue some more into this digital art direction? Because I have lots of ideas. Uh, I told you I extremely enjoy this machine and I extremely love working with it. And I've actually decided to put this doll for sale. I've uploaded it on Etsy to sell it as a digital printable file for some little money that anyone could do exactly the same at his home to print out this doll, to cut out all the details, to play with this doll, to dress her up, to create your own outfit. So if you're actually interested in something like this, if you're interested in paper dolls, I will add the link to my new Etsy shop, Etsy shop with my digital art, here in the description box under this video. So, and that was my very special project of the week. As I told you already, I cannot wait to hear your comments and your opinions. Of course, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. And of course, please don't forget to sign the petition. Actually, it's going very good. Uh, now, till the mid-December, till, till December, till the 9th of December, they're collecting public comments from anyone on their website. I will also let the link to it in the description box. So every person can go there and just share his personal experience, how these new YouTube rules, the FTC rules, how they're going to affect you as a creator, as a person who is watching YouTube. I don't know if, for example, you feel like many of your favorite channels are in danger right now. Just go there and let them very polite, very normal comments. So they're actually open to listen to us and this is very good news because the last week I had kind of feeling that we were knocking kind of the locked doors and right now I feel much better from realizing that the doors are not actually locked, that the doors are open for us to speak out, for us to say what we think about it. This is how the democracy works, thank God. So if you want to help us, if you want to be one of the voices on their website and under this petition, I will let all the links in the description box. So thank you so much guys again for watching to this video. Thank you so much for all your support. Keep going, I'm not going to give up. And I will see you next week Friday in another video. I don't know yet what it's gonna be. But I feel inspired. So, see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.